Hello, Payne family. Matt Payne and family. I'm not calling you out. I'm calling that Ron Witherspoon out. And since I see you on his videos and him on your videos and, you know, you helping him out on the YouTube, it seems like, you know, giving him video permissions, I'm hoping that you can relay this letter to him so that he can hear the questions and hear what I have to say to him because I got some words for him today, okay? So, Ron Witherspoon, this letter's to you. I have some questions to ask you, okay? What does dadgummit old son mean, all right? You know, I hear Ron Witherspoon saying that. I hear the Doolittles and the Crocker saying the shoot dang. You know what you should try saying? What Buck says. I've been saying it since 1988. Dang shoot, okay? It rolls off the tongue. It's real smooth. It's a lot easier to say than daggum it or the sun, okay? Shoot dang's just dang shoot backwards, but I've been saying dang shoot longer than they have. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. But you should try that on for size, see how that fits you. We were seeing you on the internets there for a while on the YouTube. And, you know, I see you had a really short-lived career there on the YouTube, but that doesn't mean that you couldn't make a comeback, okay? You know, not that I want a rival or somebody that I really don't care for anymore, and I'll get deeper into that as we go on here. But, you know, you could keep going. Buck, I decided to start doing this, let's see there, it was probably sometime in... January, somewhere around there, you know, towards the beginning of the year. Uh, you know, my cousin Maddie, backwards mindset, I, you know, started staying on his phone, started making videos and whatnot. And, you know, I've just really, you know, I think I found my place a little bit here on the YouTube, and I feel like you could do the same. Okay, so just let you know, don't give up on your dreams, okay? Just keep working towards it. You know, I, I don't know why you've been gone. I've seen the Payne family hasn't been around either. You know, and I know a lot of people are like, where's the pain family at? You know, and I'm like, I don't know, you tell me. And, you know, that's what uh, the those shoot dang guys say. They say, I don't know, you tell me. And that's real catchy. I do like that a lot. That's why I use it. It's fun to say. Another one of them phrases that just rolls off the tongue. Okay, but like I said, don't give up on your dreams. It'd be nice maybe to see you make a little bit of a return. But I'm going to get on with the letter here, and I was going to tell you right now, why I've got problems with you. Now, the first thing that I don't like is when people that aren't officers or, you know, parts of the United States military or anything like that, like that wears uniforms, okay? A uniform is a very important thing. Now, I saw a video from the meetup, okay, and you was wearing a security guard uniform, Mr. Ron Witherspoon, okay? You was impersonating a security officer, and that's a very serious offense. I didn't know if you knew that, okay? And then on top of that, you was harassing people, you know, winding them down, seeing if they got any medals on them. You know what? This is America. If they want to have medal in their pockets, they can do that, okay? It's not for you to pretend and walk around dressed up in a fancy uniform that you probably got at the Goodwill or the Salvation Army and act like you some kind of officer, Okay, that's just not right to do. You can't be harassing people. I don't appreciate you know, at first it. I thought you we know, was going to get along. About it. You okay. know, in the back you made of a video. I watched it numerous around. times. I thought it was pretty Wandered cool. Me okay. down, make me you feel made a video uncomfortable. that you were coming okay, after Dale Doolittle. I just think that maybe you didn't do that, people might and like I thought, a little more. Hey, maybe we could team up. Maybe we could be friends, okay? I said, we both got cool hair, and we both got sweet tattoos, and... I do have a quick question, too, if you could answer this, maybe. Um, I want to know how you get your hair to be so wavy and flowing. I got these problems with some little tangles getting to the end of my hair. But yet, I'm going to go on here, okay? If you could answer that, it'd be appreciated. But anyways, you know, Sheila never told me, but I'm thankful for the Internet could show me what's been really going on. You know, I'm left here sitting thinking. I said, you know, me and him could be good friends, like I said. But then... I'd start doing some investigation there, some investigational work. I hired myself a PI. If you don't know what that stands for, what PI stands for, that stands for private investigationer, okay? Don't worry, I didn't know that either. 
But anyways, she followed y'all to the Walmart, the private investigator. That's what I mean. You and Sheila, she followed you guys to the Walmart and saw y'all buying Funyuns and Mountain Dews and the extended version of Joe Dirt. That was me and Sheila's favorite movie, okay? David Spade deserved an Oscar for that one. But you know what? I sit there and I think, I said, man, first, she's running off with Dale Doolittle. Then she's going for Ron Witherspoon. And Buck shot Creek Jump. He's sitting here all by himself, watching Joe Dirt by himself, while some other man, Ron Witherspoon, sitting there watching Joe Dirt with Sheila and eating Funyuns and drinking Mountain Dews. It just don't seem right. I did, however, get over it. But still, I couldn't believe that you would do that, okay? Not only did it hurt me, you know, it hurt Dale at some point that she was just running off and hanging out with you. Yeah, you got that nice flowing hair, and it looks really cool when you're on a four-wheeler. But you know what? It's not cool to us. We may all be some rednecks and stuff, but you know what? We got feelings. And, you know, stuff hurts us as being humans because we're all human. You know that? Do you know that, Ron Witherspoon? Run around thinking that you're better than everybody else? Anyways, I know what's going on, amigo. That's right. I'm bilinguals, okay? Do you know what that means? That means I speak American and Spanish. I also wanted to bring up the fact that you do do some cool stuff, okay? I'm watching, you know, I see you ranching turkeys and branching goats and, you know, wrestling polar bears and egg farming, but can you ranch cats? No, I bet you can't, okay? Buck's been ranching cats since 1992, okay? I'm a professional cat rancher, and it's a very hard work, okay? And just because you got all those other things going on doesn't mean that what us other people's do is not important. Okay, now it is neat that you got eggs, you know, eggs are tasty, and then you got the goats, and they're kind of cool, and the turkeys, you know, they kind of freaked me out in the video, the ways they have moving around and stuff, it was kind of creepy, but, you know, was, you know, I don't know, they're turkeys, that's what they do, they're creeps, okay? So, Mr. Ron Witherspoon, okay, these are my issues with you, and I hope that you understand, and you think about what you've done, okay? I might be able to get over it, who knows? Maybe I can get over it, and maybe you and I can become friends. If you started using the YouTube and making videos again, I don't know. I don't think you're going to. You know, it's been a while. But anyways, I thought maybe it would be a good idea, and me and you could sit down, and we could share Mountain Dew, and maybe, you know, you and I could eat some Funyuns and watch Joe Dirt. Okay, but, you know, I don't know. That's all up to you. You can decide. Anyways, just wanted to get this letter to you because... Of course, just like everybody else on the YouTube, nobody responds to book. Nobody writes me back. Nobody responds to my super chats or, you know, any of the live chats or emails or Yahoo Messenger or AOL Messenger or AIM Messenger or any other messengers that I use or, you know, Uber Eats when I sneak a little letter in the bag, whatever. Okay, that's beside the point. But I figured maybe this would be the best way to get a hold of you since... You haven't been on the on the YouTube, and Matt Payne hasn't been on the YouTube with the Payne family. And, you know, I do know that a lot of YouTube out there misses them greatly, and we would love to see them. But, eh, I don't know. You tell me. Anyways, love always book shot creek jump. P.S. Never give up on your dreams.